general, I think in schooling, kids will leave school and they'll remember certain things. They'll say, oh, I remember the Pythagorean theorem, right? But I've got no idea what an interest rate is or anything like that, myself included. So I feel when I heard about micro society as a concept, it really clicked. Like this is such a unique opportunity for students to really showcase some of their real world skills. I didn't know anything about building a resume when I was in second grade. Um, hadn't heard of job proposals or taxes or anything like that. So what I find works best in this school under this program is the ability for the students at such a young age to be able to have these skills and access to these materials um, that they wouldn't have in a regular public school, which I think is um, it's excellent. And it really shows the growth when the students, when they can apply what they're learning in school, say, oh yeah, you know, my parents complain about paying taxes. I know what that feels like now. Being the facilitator at Max has allowed me to have the opportunity to work with students from all grade levels, which is really unique when you have seventh graders working with kindergartners trying to decide what laws make sense, what don't make sense, and how we can better our school. Students use voice and choice to be able to communicate with their peers and make decisions. They learn to relay information to one another and they learn to vote on what they think are the best policies. One of my most favorite things is that during our micro society block it gives students the opportunity to showcase their own individual talents. Um, in addition to learning all of these fantastic real world skills that we're able to apply in the classroom and outside of the classroom, um, we have a lot of fun too, um, especially in ventures that students open that um, pertains to their own individual interests. Um, so it's been a really nice way to incorporate in particular the arts um, into our school. Last year I facilitated a theater business so students were um, taking charge and in developing um, in unique individual shows and were learning about the inner workings of theater both on stage and off stage jobs. Um, this year we have a, a dance venture where students are able to come and learn different styles of dance and really just have fun um, but also at the same time be learning true to life real world skills. Um, so I think that that's something that's pretty special. Society, and I truly love teaching the micro concept to my kindergarten students. Um, many educators, even you know, friends of mine, have said it's way too much for a five and six year old to comprehend and understand what micro is and all the different components to it. However, my kids thrive off of it. Um, when asked, a lot of them. Um, tell me that micro is one of their favorite parts of the day. We come to our school. Why? What's so special about our school? What do we have at the end of the day that's so special? Naharika? Micro. We have micro. Um, students are able to apply lessons during the regular academic day to their micro um, period. In our jobs at micro, when we run the post office, what are some, some things that we have to count? Who has a job that they have to count things? Naharka, what do you have to count? How many people there are. How many customers that come into our business? What do you have to count? Every time I get a person, I put my tally bar. In my kindergarten classroom, we run the post office, and they have to identify letters and numbers on letters to know where our mail sorters and mail carriers need to go in order to have them be delivered. Um, in addition, children are applying their math addition and subtraction skills because they have real world money, our micro money, to be using those concepts with. 
counselor, special educator, and I facilitate the peacekeepers and court here at Max. Um, I have a unique perspective in the micro component of our school because I also get to teach the guidance lessons monthly with the students where we explicitly teach characteristics of kindness such as compassion, assertiveness, and then we get to see those traits come to life during micro society um, where the students are expected to model and encourage these various character traits, especially in the peacekeepers. Um, and we hold our peacekeepers to a very high standard um, where they're expected to be role models among their peers throughout the day and especially during micro. Um, so our mission statement this year is to model and encourage integrity. Um, so they are expected to demonstrate that character quality uh, throughout the day and then also encourage that and model that for their peers.